Hi guys, in this very short tutorial I will show you a very basic but, very advanced tip on how to track camera for the best results and after this video, your edits will become much more better with tracking camera. And before we begin, I want to say that we are near to 10,000 subscribers and as I promised, I will give away RSMB Pro to all of you. Just write me on Instagram to get my plugins for free. Now let me show you how to track anything with 100% accuracy. As an example I will use this lightning footage to track in my video. I will toggle it off for a while and now let's select the clip and then hit track camera. Once the analyzing is done, it will show us tracking points. But, sometimes 3D tracker can't show us points and it happens in different situations. For example, footage includes very fast camera movement. Footage is blurry or there are undefined shapes, therefore it fails to analyze your footage. But, you can also try use this option here, open advanced and enable detailed analysis. After effects will try analyze your video deeper and it can fix that issue. Another solution is, if your video is blurry, add sharpness on your video and then try 3D camera tracker again. Now let me show you, what you are doing wrong when you track camera. Right click on tracking points and let's select create solid and camera. If you are doing like this, you do that wrong way. If you think you have accurate track solid there, let me show you why you were wrong before this tutorial. Select that track solid and press P on your keyboard to see the X, Y, and Z positions. As we can see, values are too high and it means tracker is somewhere in the sky now and you won't be able to track anything perfectly in your video. Now let me show you how to create an accurate tracker. I will delete track solid and 3D tracker camera layers. And now let's select some points on the ground again. Now right click and click on, set ground plane and origin. By doing this, I tell After Effects that I've selected points on the ground and I want to create a tracker right there and I don't want it to float somewhere in the sky. After that, right click again and select, create solid and camera. Press P on track solid and check it again. As we can see, X, Y and Z positions are all at zero and my track solid is right there where I have created it. Now I will toggle on lightning footage and link to track solid and enable 3D on it. Let's scale it and correct the X, Y and Zs. For a better tracking results, make sure to position it right above the solid. And make sure it is not under the track solid, it should be above it. Now let's toggle off track solid and check if lightning effect is tracked perfectly. So, as you can see it's tracked well and now you know how to improve your 3D tracks too. Hope this video deserved your like and make sure to follow me on Instagram and write me to get my plugins. 